patience. I know, you're a doggy, you don't have patience. <laughs> Everybody, it's Irene with Brainstorm Makers, and this morning I, I'm in a metalworking symposium all week. This week I've got classes in the morning and classes in the afternoon. So uh, Rufus and I are just kind of zoomed out here to get a couple of quick things done. Because one of the points I want to make is that sometimes people feel like they have to spend a huge amount of time doing things. And it has to be big and complicated, and the reality is it doesn't have to be big and complicated. Now, I have harvested two radishes so far for Henry this year. I know that's not a huge thing but to some people, but he's really enjoying it. I just pop in the house once in a while and I'll have a radish for him, and he enjoys that. But one of the things that that means is I need to be able to refresh those radishes on a regular basis in order to keep the stream of radishes happening. Now... Let me get my seeds. They're in my sweater pocket because I didn't want to melt. <laughs> I took the sweater off. So this is my radish bucket here. And I may even choose another one out of here this time for lunchtime surprise for Henry. And I can simply brush away a little of the soil and I can make a pretty good guess as to how big the radishes are. Also, some radishes have a tendency to push up as they grow bigger. So if they've gotten really big, it'll be pretty obvious because they'll push up out of the soil. But I have two things going on here. I have spots where radishes have already come out. And I have a little section over here that never really germinated really well. So, and I have two different kinds of radishes. I have Roxanne on this side and Crunchy King on this side. So I am going to simply take some Roxanne and I haven't thought about how many I need yet. I'm going to plant them about two or three inches apart on this side. And this pot is roughly divided in half in terms of, of the types of radishes. And I'm just going to drop those in the holes I've made with my fingers. And there's no other really, well, I may put one here. What I'm doing is I'm looking to see where the radish seeds didn't come up the first time around. And I'm simply filling in those spots by poking the hole with my finger. And then putting a seed in. No biggie. Smush the dirt over the top. Shh, Rufus, no squeaking. We joke about the fact that he needs to get oiled because he squeaks sometimes. So those holes have now been covered. And I'm going to do the same thing with Crunchy King. I have a spot over here for two seeds. It just didn't germinate. And there's also a spot here where I have harvested a couple. So I'm going to put in two spots over here. So, again, it's only four seeds. But the point is to have a sowing that will continue to produce plants. go. Not a biggie. Nothing complicated. And I've been doing this for years and it has worked out really well for us. Now I do need to get out here and plant some other things. I need to replant pak choy and I need to replant um, kohlrabi. But not today. I have a limited amount of time between now, uh, now and when my next class is. And I need to uh, get some lunch in there, take the dog for a walk. So this was just a quick pop in. I am going to water this with a little bit of water, plain old water, simply because I want to make sure that it stays moist enough. And there's a couple of sections on the edge that I could feel are not quite as moist as I would like them to be. 
the rest of this is fine for today. I will rewater tomorrow. And hopefully tomorrow I'll also be able to replant some of the other things. But this just goes to show that you don't have to have 100 hours to spend in a greenhouse or garden or anything else. You can literally just pop out there, throw in a couple of seeds, give it a quick water, and get back to your life. This week is really busy for me. I have two classes every day for five days. And it's online, so I don't have to travel anywhere, which is great because that's not on the list of things to do. But it means that I have a limited amount of time. I've got things that have to happen before I get to the class. I have things that have to happen after I get back from the classes and in between. I squished this in, it worked fine. So be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification because you too can do this kind of thing. You really can. So until next time, bye. And keep brainstorming because obviously we are. And Henry's loving his radishes, so good thing. Are you stuck in there? <laughs> he says, I'm not stuck, but close. I'm not stuck, but close.